हेलो एवरीवन माय वॉइस इज ऑडिबल आतिफ एंड उमा माय वॉइस इज ऑडिबल ओके ओके देन हो गया आते हैं पैक वर्टिव मैसेज सो वी विल कंटिन्यू आर लास्ट टॉपिक वी वर डूइंग दिस इनवर्स टिग्नोमेट्रिक फंक्शंस ओके सो दिस इज द लास्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ इनवर्स टिगो सो द नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज दिस वन टू टैन इनवर्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स टू एक्स बाय वन प्लस एक्स स्क्वे ओके वी विल डू द प्रूफ ऑफ दिस प्रॉपर्टी now uh, we have three formulas in terms of tan okay so i will write the formulas here so anyone can tell me what is sin 2 theta in terms of tan theta i guess we have discussed these formulas earlier also what is sin 2 theta in terms of tan theta it is 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta cos 2 theta is 1 minus tan square theta By one plus tan square theta. Tan two theta is two tan theta by one minus tan square theta. Okay, so please uh, note down these formulas if uh, if you forgot this, because we need the same formulas in differentiation. Today is the last day for this chapter. Hopefully, we will complete it. After that, we will start the differentiation. So again, we need these formulas. So please learn all these formulas. Okay. uh next is <clears throat> for this proof what we will do we will assume this we, we are doing the uh, proof of first part so we will assume this let tan inverse x is equal to theta so here we will get tan theta is equal to x okay now what is the formula of sin 2 theta sin 2 theta is 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta now the thing is why we have taken Here sin, because we need here sin inverse. That's why we have chosen the formula sin two theta. So sin two theta, this is equal to what is tan theta two x by one plus x square. Okay. Now what we can do this, we can shift this sin to the right side, so we will get two theta is equal to sin inverse two x by one plus x square. Okay. Now what is the theta here? Theta we have assumed this, so we will get two tan inverse x, two tan inverse x is equal to sine inverse two x by one plus x square. Okay, so please always remember uh, we can take this method from this proof that if we need something on the right side, then we will put its formula on it. Okay, so in the right side we need the sine inverse, that's why we have put the formula of sine two theta. Okay, so first uh, is this second formula. We will check two tan inverse x is equal to cos inverse one minus x square by one plus x square. So if we will check the formula of cos two theta, this formula here we have cos two theta is equal to one minus tan square theta by one plus tan square theta. So from the same formula, we can prove this part also. Next third last we have this formula two tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse two x by one minus x square. So you can see here. You have this tan two theta formula, so by the same method and by using this formula, you can get the third proof. Okay, so please note down this formula and uh, confirm me. Then we will start some questions on the basis of this. Okay, and if anyone have a doubt in this one, in this property, then please let me know. Uh, Adif and Uma, please raise your hand. 
if this is done. Okay, no more good. Atif, please confirm if this is done. Okay, Atif, very good. Now uh, we will start this, start the question. So uh, we have already done this. Okay, yesterday we have done some questions on the basis of this topic. Next, uh, we have done this also, 11. Okay, next we have this one. Please uh, check here. Here you have tan inverse this plus tan inverse this is equal to pi by four. Who can tell me this formula, Atif? Atif, what is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y? Atif, what is tan inverse x plus tan inverse y? Tan we inverse have... into x plus y by 1 minus x into. Very good. Tan inverse, tan in bracket, x plus y by 1 minus x y. Okay. So we have done this formula yesterday. How you can solve this question? Please check here. In place of x, you have this expression. In place of y, you have this one. So you need to put the formula tan inverse x plus y. Okay. You will get equation here. So you need to do this on your own. I will just give you the hint. So tan inverse x minus one by x minus two plus x plus one by x plus two by one minus this one, x minus one by x minus two and x plus one by x plus two. Okay, this is equal to pi by four. Now, uh, you need to solve this, take the LCM in the numerator, solve it similarly in the denominator, take the LCM, multiply this. And finally, this tan inverse can be shifted to the right side. So what you will get from here, first of all, please solve this, then shift this tan inverse to the right side. This will become 10 pi by four and 10 pi by four value is one. Okay, then you need to find the value of X. So please try to solve it. Tell me the value of X, then we will decide that the solution is correct or not. And let me know if uh, anyone have a doubt in this.
uh, at the phenomena please solve this question okay i'm doing this here so if you need to check the calculation you can check on the slide but it is better if you will solve this on your own Okay, Noma, uh, this is a quadratic equation. Okay, let me check this. Okay, I'm... Uh, Okay, I'm shifting this tan inverse to the right side. This x square will get cancelled out. We will get a minus three here. And this will give us tan five by four. So this is two x square minus four by minus three. This is equal to one. So this is two x square minus four is equal to minus three. So we will get here 2x square is equal to uh, minus 3 plus 4. So 2x square is equal to 1. So x square is equal to 1 by 2. So x is equal to plus minus 1 by root 2. Okay. So we are getting two values, 1 by root 2 and minus 1 by root 2. Noma, uh, will you please check why you are getting one by two here? Okay, so there are two values. Always remember, always remember that in these types of question, most of the time this negative value do not satisfy the equation. Okay, most of the time this negative value never satisfies this equation. If you will put this minus one by root two here, Okay, then this left side will become positive. Sorry, this left side become negative. So we will just write that x is equal to minus one by root two. Make the LHS, make the LHS negative. So x is equal to one by root two is the answer. Okay, in these types of cases, always remember that this minus one by root two will make this LHS negative. Okay, that's why we will ignore this minus one by root two and this will be your answer. Okay, please remember in case of tan inverse, you are getting X. Most of the time we get a positive and negative answer and we will ignore the negative one.
And again, one more thing. Uh, the second exercise we uh, I have already marked. I have already shared the topics with you, which the CBSE has deleted. Okay. In some of the school is still they are teaching those topics. That's why we are doing this. So Noma, uh, in your school, if they are not doing this, then uh, there is no need to do in so so much of detail. Okay. Can you explain the last part? Yes, uh, Atif, if we will take this one, minus one by root two, and you will put here, then please check here, minus one by root two, minus one by minus one by root two, minus two. So what is happening? That this will make the LHS negative. So, uh, just skip. Um, let, let me uh, solve this one. Uh, if you are getting a negative answer here in case of tan inverse, then please put this negative in the LHS. Okay. So we will check this tan inverse. Here we will put minus one by root two, minus one by minus one by root two, minus two. And here we are having tan inverse. Okay. Minus one by root two plus one, minus one by root two plus two. So, okay, uh, sorry, this is positive. So if you will solve this in the numerator, you have a negative in the denominator, you have a negative. So you will get a positive here. Okay. And this is also positive. R RHS is also positive. Okay. This is positive. This is also positive and RHS is positive. So it is fine. Uh, LHS and RHS, both are positive. Both are positive. Hence, X is equal to plus minus one by root two is the answer. So, is the answer. So, if you are getting a negative value, then please put in the equation. Okay. In the right side, we have a positive. If in the left side also you will get a, sorry, in the left side, if you will get a negative, then we will ignore this solution. So uh, I'm sorry, I missed this. So we have put this minus one by root two here. Because of this minus one by root two, this is still positive. This is also positive. So that is fine. If you are putting the negative value and you are getting a negative in the LHS, then we will ignore that solution. Okay. We will check one more question of this type of this. Okay, so please note down this, confirm me. We will check one more sol uh, question on this. Okay, Noma, shall we start next? Okay. Okay, then uh, try this question, question by second. Okay.
Okay, Noma. Uh, okay, let me check this. So the second, this is tan inverse two x plus tan inverse three x is equal to pi by four. Apply the formula tan inverse two x plus three x by one minus two x into three x. Is equal to pi by four. So this we will get tan inverse five x by one minus six x squared is equal to pi by four. So this we will get five x minus one minus six x squared is equal to tan pi by four. So this we will get five x by one minus six x squared is equal to so this will become five x minus one minus six x squared, and this will give us shift this six x all the terms to the LHS. So six x squared plus five x minus one is equal to zero. So this we will get six x squared plus six x minus x minus one is equal to zero. So take six x common x plus one minus one x plus one is equal to zero so we are getting two on uh, here we will get six x minus one and x plus one is equal to zero so from this we will get x is equal to one by six and x is equal to minus one okay so please check what the mistake you have done now you, we are again here getting a negative sign so what we will do put x is equal to one let this be first put x is equal to minus one in first so what will happen tan inverse minus two tan inverse minus three okay so this will become what minus tan inverse two we already know that tan inverse minus x is minus tan inverse x minus tan inverse minus three three okay so lhs is getting negative here if you will check here, the LHS is negative. This is negative, this is negative. So we will write x is equal to minus one. Uh, for x is equal to minus one, LHS is negative, is negative. Hence, hence x is equal to one by six is the solution, is the solution, okay? So sometimes, uh, most of the time, this negative will make LHS negative. So we will ignore it. If the right side, we have a positive one. This is clear. Atif and Omar. Yes, sir. Okay. So this ex exception will be only for these types of question for the time inverse. So please uh, raise your hand, Atif and Omar. Once you will uh, note down this, then we will start the next question. And uh, even if you wish, you can do this step in the rough, in the rough uh, sheet, okay? And you can directly write that x is equal to one by six is the answer as x is equal to minus one will make LHS negative. Okay, okay, Atif and Noma, you have done this. Good, we will start next. Uh, okay. Uh, please try this. Uh, I will give you the hint for this question. This is not a complicated one. Tan inverse or tan inverse one by x. Anyone can tell me the formula of this. Atif and Noma. Tan inverse one by x is what? Uh, 
got in motion very good got in process okay noma we have done these formulas and similarly cot inverse 1 by x is equal to tan inverse x so what you can do here this is tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square okay this uh, and this cot inverse this can be written as please check here this is 1 by x so this become tan inverse x so this become reciprocal so what you will get here tan inverse okay and this is 2x by 1 minus x square is equal to pi by 3 okay this clear atif and noma this is clear yes okay now yes. please solve okay now please solve this please check here both the terms are same so just write 2 tan inverse 2x by 1 minus x square is equal to pi by 3 Next, shift this two to the right side, so you will get tan inverse two x by one minus x square is equal to pi by six. Okay. Next, this tan inverse, write this on the right side, so you will get two x by one minus x square, which is equal to tan pi by six. Okay. Now put the value of tan pi by six and find the value of x.
Okay, and uh, sorry, we missed one point here. So even we can apply one formula over here, okay, to avoid the further calculation. Tan inverse two x by one minus x square. So if we will check this, tan inverse two x by one minus x square. So we have just done this formula. This one. Tan inverse two x by one minus x square. This is two tan inverse x. Okay. So you can uh, use this formula here. So in place of this tan inverse two x by this, we can write two tan inverse x. This is equal to pi by six. Okay. So this will become tan inverse x is equal to pi by twelve. So x you will get x is equal to tan pi by twelve. Next you need to find this value, ten pi by twelve. Okay, and in the bracket please write this formula, that two tan inverse x is equal to tan inverse two x by one minus x square. Okay. And so please find this value. Ten pi by twelve means ten fifteen degree. So x is equal to tan fifteen. This you have done in class eleventh also. How can you find this value? You can write like this: tan forty five minus thirty degree. Now please apply the formula of tan a minus b and find out the value of x. Uh, Atif and Uma, please let me know once you get the answer. Okay, or if any doubt you have, then please tell me. Uh, very good, Atif. This is correct. Noma, please let me know if you get the answer. Uh, no, Noma, this is not correct. Please check here. So x is equal to tan a minus b is tan a. Minus tan b by one plus tan a tan b. X is equal to this is one minus tan thirty is one by root three. One plus one by root three. So x is equal to root three minus one. 
by root three plus one. Okay, uh, this is clear, no more. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, very good. So, no more. Please note down this. Then we will start the next question. So, do we need to rationalize this? No, there is no need to rationalize. Okay, sir. Uh, shall we start next? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, uh, this question we have done yesterday. Okay. Okay. This is a new type of question. Here we have a sine inverse, and here we have sine x plus cos x by root two. Okay. In such type of questions. Uh, we can't put any formula in this bracket. So what we can do here, we can separate this one by root two. So this you will get this one sine inverse. This one by root two sine x plus one by root two cos x. Okay. Now uh, what's no more what's the formula of sine a plus b? Um, sine a into cos b plus cos a into sine b. Very good. Plus cos a into sine b. Okay. Now, here we have sine inverse. Next, you have 1 by root 2 into sine x. So, if we need sine here, okay. In the starting, you have a sine inverse. That's why we need sine here. So, for sine, we have this formula. Now, here you have sine x. In place of 1 by root 2, you can write cos pi by 4. Okay, and in place of this one by root two, you can write sine pi by four into cos x. Next, uh, this will become what sine inverse. If we will check this one, then this is what sine a cos b cos a sine b. So we can write here sine pi by four plus x. So this will give you what pi by four plus X. This is clear? Atif and Omar? Yes, sir. Okay, Atif, this is clear? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So please note down this, confirm me, then we will start the next type of questions. And Rishan, if my voice is audible, then please reply me on the chat box. Okay, good, Atif. Noma, this is done. One minute, sir. Okay. Okay, Noma, very good. Uh, next is this one. This is also a good question. Please try this one. I will give you the hint. This is based on the today's uh, on the property which we have done today. So please check this formula to tan inverse x and then try to solve this.
please let me know if anyone have a doubt in this one. Okay, Atif, very good. Uh, Noma, please let me know once it is done. Uh, Noma, is it done? Okay, okay, very good. Now next one. Mm, okay, this is a different type of questions. Uh, different type of question. So here we have sine inverse three by five plus sine inverse eight by seventeen. We need to prove this. This equal to sine inverse seventy-seven by eighty-five. So you know that we have just this formula: tan inverse six plus tan inverse y. Okay, we have only this formula. In uh, in your syllabus in NCRT, they have not given this formula: sine inverse x plus sine inverse y. Okay, so we can't use this formula which is given in the reference book. So now uh, we have two options. First, either you can convert this sine inverse into tan inverse, this sine inverse into tan inverse, then you can apply this formula. After that. Okay, this formula is tan inverse x plus y by one minus x y. Once you will get this one, then you can convert this into sine inverse. This is the first method. Second method is this one that we will assume this. Let sine inverse three by five is equal to a. So we will get here sine a is equal to three by five. Similarly, sine inverse eight by seventeen. This is equal to b. So we will write sine b is equal to eight by seventeen. Okay. Now we get a sine a plus sine b. Final, please check here what you need. You need a sine inverse. So put the formula of sine. In the RHS, if you need cos inverse, then put the formula of cos. Here we have a positive sine. That's why we will write sine a plus b. Okay. Here, if you have a negative sine, then you need to put a negative here. In the RHS, if you have sine inverse, then you need to put sine. A. Now, what is the formula? Sine a cos b, sine a cos b, plus cos a sine, cos a sine b. Okay, sine 
a we have we need cos a so what we can do this is what perpendicular by hypotenuse so this is the triangle this is angle a perpendicular is what 3 hypotenuse is 5 so what will be the base no my ratif Four. Four. Very good. Four. Now, very good, Atif. What we need here, we need cos A. So cos A is what? B by H. What is base? Four by five. So cos A, we get this one. Now, similarly for sine A, we will draw this triangle. This is B. So this is equal to perpendicular by base. Perpendicular is what? Eight. Sorry, perpendicular by high bodies. I bought news is seventy, so this is two eighty nine and minus six sixty four, which will give us two twenty five. So base will be fifteen. So cos B is what cos B is base by hypotenuse. Base we will get fifteen. Hypotenuse is seventy. So we get these two values. Okay, now we can put these values here. This we will get sine A plus B is equal to sine A is what three by five. What is cos B? Fifteen by seventeen. What is cos A? Four by five. What is sine B? Eight by seventeen. So this we will get what sine A plus B is equal to. Take the LCM. Eighty-five and this is forty-five plus thirty-two. So this we will get sine A plus B, which is equal to. Seventy-seven by eighty-five. Okay, and this a plus b is equal to sine inverse seventy-seven by eighty-five. Okay, now what is a here? A is uh, sine inverse three by five. What is b here? B is sine inverse eight by seventeen. So this we will get is equal to sine inverse. Seventy-seven by eighty-five. Okay, so please check here. Always check in the RHS. If you need sine inverse, put the formula sine. Cos inverse, put the formula of cos. Always assume this as a and b, and as per the formula, try to find the different ratios. To uh, what's a doubt, Noma? Don't we have to use sine a plus sine b, Noma? But what is the advantage of using sine a plus sine b? Hmm. Uh, no, ma, but there will not be any advantage if you will use this, because even the alleges will not match with your question. If you will write here, all right. If you will write here, sine a plus sine b, then your formula is two sine a, a plus b by two cos a minus b by two. Okay. So in the alleges, this will be three by five plus sorry sine a is what? Three by five. Yes. What is sine b? Eight by seventeen. So in the even in the alleges, we will get three by five plus eight by seventeen, and here we will get this two sine a plus b by two and this, and then it will not possible for us to further solve this. Okay. So please put the formula of sine a plus b or cos a minus b because in case of tan we already have the formula. We will face issue in this sine and cos. Clear, Noma? Okay, very good. So please note down this and confirm me. Then we will start the next question. Uh, no man, Atif. Please raise your hand if this is done. Uh, 
हो गया थे गुड नोमा प्लीज लेट मी नो इफ दिस इज कंप्लीटेड ओके गुड नंबर नेक्स्ट इज दिस क्वेश्चन ओके आई एम टेकिंग अ ब्रेक ऑफ फाइव मिनट्स इन द मीन टाइम प्लीज कंटिन्यू दिस क्वेश्चन ओके आई विल बी बैक इन फाइव मिनट्स
Okay, uh, so Noma and Atif, I'm back. Uh, is it done? Atif and Noma, is it done? Or do you have any doubt in this question? We are doing, sir. We are doing? Uh, okay, so Atif, can you tell me the approach? Sir, first uh, we can take uh, nine by four common and cancel it. Very good, but we need to prove. Okay, so we'll not cancel it. We need to prove LHS is equal to RHS. So this is correct that we will take a nine by four common. So here we will get pi by two minus sine inverse one by three. Okay. Now Atif, can you tell me the next step? Uh, Noma, can you tell me the next trick? Okay. Um, please tell me this property, Noma. What is sine inverse x plus cos inverse x? We have done this property some days back. Very good. This is pi by two. So cos inverse x, this can be written as pi by two minus sine inverse x. Okay. So pi by two minus sine inverse x is equal to cos inverse x. Okay. So you can write this property here. And so uh, Noma, what will be the next step? This is nine by four. In place of this, what we can write? Uh, sine inverse x plus cos inverse x. Uh, no, no. Can we say that this cos inverse 1 by 3, Noma? Please check here. As per the above, uh, as per the above property, we can say that sine inverse, sine inverse 1 by 3 plus cos inverse 1 by 3 is equal to pi by two. Okay, so can we say this, that cos inverse pi by one by three is equal to pi by two minus sine inverse one by three? Yes, sir. Okay, so in place of this one, we can write this cos inverse one by three. So this we will get nine by four. Now, if you will check the proof, then here we need the sine inverse and here we have the cos inverse. So Noma, can you tell me? How can we convert this cos inverse into sine inverse? <clears throat> Noma, how can we convert this sine in cos inverse into sine inverse? We have done many questions of this type. Atif, can you tell me? No, always please remember if you need to convert any trigonometric ratio into a different one, then always use this approach. Let cos inverse one by three is equal to theta. So you will get cos theta is equal to one by three. Okay, so we have this triangle. This is theta. This is base by hypotenuse. So base is one, hypotenuse is three. So what will be the perpendicular? Nine minus one under root. So that is under root eight. Under root eight means two root two. Now what we need here in the proof, we need sine. So we will write sine, uh, let this be one, okay? We will write sine theta, which is equal to perpendicular by hypotenuse. Perpendicular is two root two here and hypotenuse is three here. So from this, we can say theta is equal to sine inverse two root two by three, this be two. So what we can say from one and two, from one and two, cos inverse one by three is equal to sine inverse two root two by three. Okay, so this means nine by four, cos inverse one by three is equal to 
9 by 4 and in place of this sine inverse 2 root 2 by 3. This is clear, Atif and Numa? Sir. Okay, Numa. Yes, sir. So please remember this, uh, this step, this one. If you need to convert any ratio into a different ratio, we will use, we will always use this approach. Okay. Now please complete this, raise your hand, then we will do the last question. So please explain last step once again. Uh, last step, this one, Numa. This. So after from one and two. Okay, okay. So Numa from one and two. This is one. Please check here. Theta is equal to cos inverse one by three, and here theta is equal to sine inverse two root two by three. Okay. So here theta is equal to this, and theta is equal to this. So can we say that cos inverse one by three is equal to this one? Yes, sir. The same thing I've written over here. Now, please check the question. We have nine by four into cos inverse one by three. So in place of this cos inverse one by three, you can put this value. Okay. Okay, so please uh, confirm me once you complete it. Okay, Noma, very good. Atif, this is done. Atif, is it done? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, very good. Then we will do a one more question. Last, okay, okay, we have some more. So two sine inverse x is equal to sine inverse two x and the root of one minus of x squared. Okay, so I will help you in this. Okay, so here we have two sine inverse x. So what we will do, First of all, we will write this question to sine inverse x is equal to sine inverse 2x under root 1 minus x squared. After this, let sine inverse x is equal to theta. So we will get what? Sine theta is equal to x. Now, please check here. Here you have two sine inverse x. That's why we will start with sine 2 theta. Okay. Here you have two sine inverse x. That's why we will start with sine 2 theta. So you need to check two things. In the RHS, if there's sine inverse, then here we will take sine. In the RHS, if there is cos inverse, we will take cos. Okay, now sine two theta is what? Two sine theta into cos theta. Now sine theta is this. So anyone can tell me what is a cos theta then? Can we do this directly? Cos theta is what? Under root of one minus sine square x. We have that method. We can put that method, triangle method also. Take the hypotenuse perpendicular base or we can use this one. So cos theta is equal to under root of one minus, what is sine square x squared. Now this is sine two theta is equal to two sine theta cos theta. So here what we will get sine two theta is equal to two into sine that is x, what is cos under root of one minus x squared. So sine two theta we get this. Now we will shift this sine to the right side. So you will get two theta is equal to sine inverse. 2x under root of 1 minus x square. So this theta is, uh, okay, now what is theta? Theta is sine inverse x. This is equal to sine inverse 2x under root 1 minus x square. This is clear normal. So you need to remember two things. First, if there is sine inverse, then LHS, we will take sine. And if there is two, 
then we will take sine two theta. If there is three, then we will take sine three theta. And you also need to check on the right side. If there is sine inverse, you need to take sine. On the right side, if you have cos, then you need to take take cos. Uh, clear? Atif and no more. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. Then please note down this. Raise your hand. We will start next question. Okay, no more good. Atif, this is done. Yes, sir. Okay, Atif, good. So we will start next. Okay. So Atif, please try this question. Uh, Atif and Omar, please try this. Okay, I will give you the hint. Uh, Noma, what is this property? Tan inverse A plus cot inverse A? Pi by two. Very good. So please put pi by two here, cot pi by two. Now, what is the value of cot pi by two, Noma? Noma, what is the value of cot pi by two? Zero. Very good. So this is zero. This is clear. Atif and Noma. Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So please note down this, raise your hand. Uh, then we will do one more question. Okay, Noma, very good. Atif, this is done. Yes. Okay, very good. Uh, then we will do one question from here. Okay. Uh, second is same type. Please try this one. Third one. Okay. So for this third one, we will use the formula of sine 3 theta. Please try this and let me know if you have any doubt.
Okay, and sorry, I missed something here. This is 4x cube. Okay, this is 4x cube. Now, please try to solve it. Oh, okay, Atif, very good. Noma, please let me know once it is completed. Uh, no more, please uh, tell me, okay, if you have any doubt in this question. Yes, Noma, we have to put the formula. Noma, what is the formula of sine 3 theta? 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta. Okay. Now, please try this, Noma. Okay, Noma, very good. So almost the um, rest of the question you can do on your own. Now this chapter is completed. Okay. okay, so inverse is also completed. Now in the next class, we will start the differentiation. But before that, uh, just one thing. Uh, the team has already shared the assignments on the WhatsApp group. Okay, so please complete that assignment and share your homework on the same group. One thing, uh, Atif and Noma, can you tell me in a day how many questions can you do? Because I uh, because I will give you the homework uh, as per your uh, uh, as per your capacity. In a day, how many questions can you solve? Uh, you can message me on the chat box. Okay, Noma, 15. Okay, good. Atif? Five to ten. Okay. So I will take an average of three. In a day, you need to complete only three questions, okay? So in a week, so that means you can do 21 questions, okay? Now in relation and functions, I already told you that most of the question we, we had done in class only. Next chapter differentiation, it is easy, okay? But most of the question you need to do in the homework. So I will uh, share the assignments with you. And uh, in a week, you need to solve 21 questions. Okay, in relation function, most of the students has not completed the homework. They have not shared with me, but I expect for this one, for differentiation and inverse, you have to complete the homework. Okay, so I hope everyone uh, is a part of that group. And today they have shared the inverse assignment in that group. So please complete that assignment, inverse. And from next week, we will start the differentiation. Okay, and uh, in this week, you have a test of relation and functions.
and uh, can you give the uh, this week can you also give the test of inverse trigonometric functions or we will keep it uh, in the next week so next week next week okay then this week please uh, give the uh, test of relation and functionality okay just give me a minute i will give the homework from this inverse trigonometric Okay, so uh, yesterday I have given you the homework up to question number, I guess up to question number nine or 10. Okay, so after this question number 10, question 10, part one, two, three, then Question 14, part second. Fifteenth, part second. Then question 17. Part second to fourth. Okay, this is 17th. And uh, then question number question 19th. Part second and fourth. Okay. And there's one more question. Question number 13. Question 13. Okay. So total is, yes, yes, Numa, these questions are from NCRT as well. Okay. So here you have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and 11. So total 11 questions. In a day, if you will do three questions, then in five days, you can complete this assignment. Okay. So, but in next uh, next class we will start differentiation only when you will complete the assignments okay if you will not do the homework then it is uh, then i will not be able to start a new chapter okay so till friday uh, please share your homework and share the pdf copy of your homework and please write your name on the assignments which you will submit okay so is there any doubt in this chapter or we can uh, Close uh, to this class. No, no doubt. No doubt. Okay, no more. Any doubt? No, sir. Okay. Uh, so, are the uh, your exams are still going on? No, sir. They're finished. They're finished. Uh, how many chapters you have completed now in maths in your school? Uh, Atif, how many chapters you have completed? So three chapters, sir. We are very really close to completing a uh, fourth chapter, sir. Fourth one is differentiation. No, sir. For fourth one is uh, applicants and uh, operators. You have completed matrices in a school? Yes, sir. Completed both matrices and determinants. Okay. And relations? No, sir. We have not completed. Inverse? No, we have not completed. No. Okay, then after determinants, you are doing application or derivative or differentiation? After uh, we did a continuity and differentiability and uh, then uh, doing applications. And then you are doing AOD. Okay, so we have also completed four chapters. Okay. Uh, Noma, how many chapters you have completed in your school? Uh, matrices, determinants, okay. and uh, relation function and uh, differentiation was just started. They started differentiation. Okay, then very good. So both of you, please revise the 11 differentiation formula and the topic which we have done in 11, that is uh, uh, product rule, quotient rule, chain rule. Okay, we will do some questions 
on these topics, then we will start the 12th part. Okay. Can you please yes. repeat what we have to revise? Yes, uh, no, please repeat the differentiation of 11th. So in 11th, uh, we have done the uh, product rule. Okay, first principle is not there in class 12. So there's no need to do the first principle. Just revise the differentiation formulas. That is the derivative of sinus cos. After this, uh, revise product rule. 